going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to focus on the pen tool inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new videos. All right, let's get started. Let's head down to the timeline. So as you notice, I just have the standard selection tool active. That's why I have just a little arrow on my mouse. But let's head down here to this audio track, which is underneath the playhead. And you'll see there's the uh, audio volume bar. If you grab it with the selection and you can move it up or down, you'll notice the entire thing moves up and the entire thing moves down, which is great by itself. But say you want to get more creative and you want to be more specific. That's where the pen tool comes in handy. So let's head over the toolbar which is this little bar right here, this highlighted blue. And let's head down to the pen. You'll notice that the pen tool has a keyboard shortcut of P, but I was gonna click on it while I'm here. Now this is where the magic comes in. I'll go to that exact same volume bar where we grabbed it and it, the entire thing would raise and lower with that. And let's just grab this here. And instead of bringing it up or down, we're gonna create keyframes with the pen tool. Click on the bar. You'll see all those little dots that we left. And now if we grab this, we can manipulate them up or down. And you can see how it doesn't raise the entire volume bar. It just lowers or raises that one section. Same thing with this, if I grab it in the middle, it'll just raise that middle keyframe. But let's just pretend we'll kind of move this in like a nice smooth slope. And if we go back to here, we'll just start it from the start of the keyframe. I'll play it. You notice how it slowly rose up with it, and now it just stays at that same level. And say we do one here at the end, and we have it drop down. We'll play it from here. So that way you can bring audio volume up or down based on each individual frame you want, which is fantastic. And it can also do the same thing with the video clip. Although I don't have the video clips active for the, for the keyframes, Head over to the wrench tool, we'll click on it, and you'll see that the show video keyframes is not highlighted, but we're gonna highlight it, so now as a check. So now you'll see that same thing. So instead of the volume, the volume level, this does the opacity. So now we'll go back over and grab the same pen tool, and on the opacity, we'll put a keyframe here, we'll put a keyframe here, we'll put a keyframe here. Now we'll do the same thing, we drop it. So instead of the volume raising, the opacity will raise. So you'll see the video, it gradually becomes more clear. And you can do that throughout the whole thing and do whatever manipulation you want. But if you want to do like a fade out, you'll notice it'll just fade out. So that's where the pen tool is fantastic. You can manipulate these to have the opacity wherever you like and also the volume. You can be really creative, you can play with this, but that's where the pen tool is fantastic. Now, for some reason, say you wanna get rid of these. Say I wanna change my mind. I can grab the pen tool and just lasso all of the, uh, the, the keyframes and then just delete. And it goes back to normal. Same thing, you can lasso them all. Delete, goes back to normal. So that is the pen tool. One more thing the pen tool can do, and we'll address this in a later video, is you can do masking with it. So you can create different shapes if you're trying to mask them out later. So we'll undo this. That's a video for a later day. Anyway, that is the pen tool. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, please click the thumbs up button on the video for the YouTube algorithm. And then subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Later. Later.